this is the um, second um, show that I'm curating for Jackson's and the exhibition is called High Resolution, um, showing Tapio Verkala's work with glass objects, silverware and um, wooden piece as well as some furniture together with photography of the German photographer Hans Hansen. The first piece of Tapio vehicle I ever found was a glass leaf which had this line cut on the back of the, of the glass surface which then just relies purely upon the refraction of light and it's, just sim it's such a simple way to make an abstract sculpture of the leaf. I think most, most of the objects were shown in the exhibition are from the 1950s and 60s. These were really, I think, his greatest years. He won numerous prizes at the Milan Triennale. We exhibited a lot of his wood pieces and his wood dish won, won the first prize in 1952. I think in all vehicles' work, there, you have these sculptural forms. You can see that he's really comfortable with the material and then he lets the material speak for itself, really is in harmony with the material he's working with. The exhibition is called High Resolution because I wanted to put an emphasis on the highly defined surfaces of Verkala's glasswork and to focus on the details, on, of the rich details they have. When um, looking at the objects, I was very fascinated. I, I felt like I wanted to zoom in and um, explore them further and further. And Hans Hansen, as a photographer, over the years he was able to reveal this abstract and sensual quality of um, Verkala's work, which I um, was interested in. I met up here Verkala in Düsseldorf while he was setting up an exhibition of his work. And there I found the glass pieces of ice again, which I have seen in the Milano 60. And then I gave him a picture to thank him for this meeting. And he then after asked me to take pictures of his work. The fascinating thing for me was that the transformation from nature into this artificial material and form that he finally finds for all the different work he was doing. For the exhibition setup, I pictured a very calm and concentrated atmosphere. And it began all with a, the idea of a long winding trail through the woods or into the water. And I transformed this into the gallery space 